Welcome to this, um, to the best of my knowledge, first uh, video tutorial on how to take apart an iPod Hi-Fi from Apple. Uh, the version I have is uh, this one, so there's at least two versions which are slightly different, so the, the membranes are a bit different, but anyway, so you saw the model number on mine. So to start off, uh, taking this, uh, this speaker apart, we'll have to uh, basically uh, take off this front plate, this black uh, front plate. This is a pretty thick aluminium sheet which is very well glued onto the, onto the main body of the speaker. So I'm uh, spending about 5 to 10 minutes on uh, warming it up just to uh, make the glue a bit more more easy to take apart and what you want to use is a pair of uh, kitchen knives of this description so you want something that's relatively thin but also quite strong so then it's quite easy to get between the the aluminum and the main body whilst using uh, with using the the sharp edge now I did start in the middle and I wouldn't really advise doing that. Um, probably the best, your, your best bet is, is starting at the edges. So uh, I'll uh, slow down the video again now. And so this seems to be like a good maneuver. So get two knives and slightly rotate and prise both of them up. And whilst being insanely careful not to touch, not to get to the membrane. So you saw I already got pretty close to, to that one there. And uh, I'll pause the video a bit later, a bit later on so you'll see a very eye-watering moment, which is now. So I did fuck up one of the speakers a tiny bit, so there's a tiny fracture in the membrane. These don't move insanely much, so it shouldn't really be a problem, but be careful on yours and yeah just take your time I was getting quite bored at that point so yeah i guess i rushed a bit and as you can see this at some point just uh just separates you can see the insane amount of double double-sided stick tape here and um yeah these uh two adapters just just fall out don't worry about those those just uh fall back into place and uh, what we're going to be doing next is taking apart the black screws. Uh, so leave out the two, uh, the, the two yellow, uh, the two silver ones on the sides in the middle. Uh, you don't need to take those out. So take out the, how many are there? Uh, eight screws. And unfortunately, you will have to take apart the subwoofer, uh, to take off the subwoofer as well. So I did try lifting it out without doing that. And... Theoretically, with enough force, you will be. I actually know. So some of the clips, uh, the the connectors of the speakers, have um, have those kinds of connectors where you have to actually squeeze them to get them out. So there's no way you can uh, avoid doing this. So taking out the subwoofer, uh, you'll be able to put your hand in and disconnect all the speakers. And there's uh, two more wires coming from this uh, front assembly. And those are a uh, ribbon cable for ribbon cable, a small connector for uh, for the blue uh, for the uh, infrared module receiver and for the LED. So once you take those out, you should be able to uh, completely lift out this this front um, front assembly, which houses the the mid range speakers as well. And once you're done with that, there's pretty much straightforward access to all of the rest of the stuff so in the middle you can see the amplifier board and it is uh it's screwed exactly on top of the power supply um yeah and everything is uh, straightforward phillips screws so no torques no nothing i have no idea who who designed this at apple because i don't know they probably haven't hadn't discovered torques and security torques and all that but yeah so that's pretty much all of it, and um, yeah, good luck.